After six months, uh, an opening for evenings popped up on this station, and it was a country station. I hadn't been exposed to, to country music before either, and I thought, well, you know, a radio job's a radio job. And I said, please let me do it. Please let me do it. I want to be a disc jockey. I want to be on the air, you know, playing music. So they gave me that chance, six to midnight, six days a week, all request show. It was, it was a real baptism by fire. I learned to love country music, how to pronounce all those country names, what songs were good and what songs weren't so hot and still some of my fondest memories to this day of, of working in country radio was spinning those records at six to midnight every night. The, the one song that first pops into my mind was Cal Smith, and don't laugh, Cal Smith's Country Bumpkin. It was the CMA song of the year in 1974, and it kind of reminded me of me. I think that's why I like that song. So that was the first one I remember really being hooked on. And then along came George Strait and Reba McIntyre in the 80s and still love their music to this day. They're my favorites. I was very blessed to, to get into the, the Country DJ Hall of Fame pretty young. I think I was about 49 at the time. Our Nashville reporter, our Nashville insider Hazel Smith called me one evening. It's about five minutes after six. I was on the air and said, JD, you're in the Hall of Fame, baby. And I said, get out of here. You're pulling my leg, Hazel. She said, no, you're in the, the Country DJ Hall of Fame. And I'm starting to tear up now just thinking about it. It was, I did then too. And then at the actual induction ceremony, when you walk in the room and you see your plaque with your face on it, and it says, Hall of Fame. <clears throat> it's like you're looking at your tombstone almost coolest moment of my life. I was sitting actually at home this morning drinking my Diet Coke after my walk and the awards are up on the mantle and I kind of glanced over there and went, wow, 44 years, that's 44 years right there. But I just wanna, I just wanna be remembered as J.D. Cannon was a nice guy. That's it. Thank you again to the listeners. Thank you very, very much for following me from station to station, for coming out to the Indiana State Fair, for coming to all these remotes and appearances, and for loving country music as much as I do. We'll see you again down the road. I've seen some sights, but babe, you're something. And mama loves her country bumpkin. Forty years of hard work later, in a simple, quiet, and peaceful country place.